Hi, it's Tony Robbins again. Welcome to session number three. What are the only three ways to grow your business? The way to create geometric growth. Listen, we've talked a little bit about philosophy and strategy of changing your state and getting peak performance and how to maximize resources now. But if we're gonna go beyond the leadership to the mechanics now, we all need a plan. In fact, if you work with one of our coaches, they'll tell you that trying to have a business plan, like a five-year business plan today, is a joke. What we really need more of is a map. Because the world is changing so rapidly right now, the economy, technology, change happens more rapidly than any time in history. All of the information that we've ever accumulated in the history of mankind over thousands of years now gets doubled about every three years. And it's happening faster and faster. So today to think I know what's gonna be like five years from now is ridiculous. But what I do need is an overall map. A map that can answer five questions for me and that it ultimately leads to what this DVD is about, which says, these are the exact three ways I'm gonna grow my business in the next six to 12 to 18 months, and here are the numbers we're gonna do it by. Because what's really ironic is it doesn't matter what business you're in. Again, whether you sell B2B or you know, B2C to consumers, whether you're you know, something, something, you're selling a product that's you know, marketing a service to businesses, whether you're in a place where you're doing real estate, whether you're selling high technology, whether you're exclusively on the web, whether you're selling to the government, doesn't matter the process. There's only these three ways to grow your business. So we're gonna introduce you to those three ways, and here's what I wanna make sure you do in this particular session, and I won't keep showing up each time to interrupt this. From now on, you'll just start your sessions. But I wanted to mark this one out because if you just listen to this DVD and go, oh, this makes sense, or yeah, I know that, you're gonna cheat yourself big time. What you wanna do is take what we're talking about that we've tried to make so simple that people won't fail to follow through. They'll do what's necessary to get the result. This DVD is really the result of a 25 plus year relationship with a dear friend of mine, Jay Abraham. These three distinctions came out of a time I remember sitting down with him doing this interview and saying, gosh, Jay, you and I work with so many businesses, you've been with tens of thousands of businesses, all different kinds of industries, and you've noticed there's only so many ways to market. There's only so many ways to change things, but you know, realtors tend to do it one way, and people that sell B2B do it another, and some people in the travel business do these big organizational meets. There's so many different ways, but you've learned how to cross-pollinate them. You've learned so many strategies for increasing a business, but people get overwhelmed when they hear too much, and we both want to give them everything. What if we started them out with just three things that were so clear, everyone on the team, after they understood this and did the math, could figure out in their own business the map to go from where they are to where they want to be in the next 6, 12, to 18 months, and they knew in their gut it was real. If we had to break everything down to three things, what would those three things be? And I'm not going to reveal it. You'll see it in a moment. They're real simple. But when you focus and you do it, your entire business changes. I've done this over and over again. I've taken over businesses that were in bankruptcy and turned them around, transformed them 35, 50, 75, 100%, sometimes 250%, literally in less than 12 months. I've done it with my own businesses, and I've helped other companies do it as well. So I want you to really do this. And if you wanna go deeper, again, your coach can walk this through with you afterwards, but don't leave this DVD. When it's done, do the homework, sit, Write down with your team, calculate the numbers, get the answers that you need, and most importantly, write down why. Why are we gonna do this no matter what? Remember, reasons come first, answers come second. If you get a strong enough why to do something and what you've laid out can work, if you know why to do it, you'll figure out how to do it. That's what this is really about. And one other thing, when you do talk to your coach, you might ask them about the five questions that help you build a business map. One of those questions you really got to know is, what business are you really in? What business are you really in? You know, some people, you know the old adage, the people in the railroad business thought they were in the railroad business, didn't realize they were in the transportation business. They were the richest men in the world, and trucks were being made by Ford. They could have bought all of Ford for pennies, a small percentage of what they owned, but they thought, no, no, we know what business we're in. We're here in the railroad business. You know the adage, and they're no longer around. Those guys went from the richest in the world to some of the poorest in the world because the game changed. Today the game changes a lot, so you gotta keep asking yourself, what business am I really in? What do I really need to do for my customers? Second question, why am I in business? If you have a business map, you have gotta have the reasons that are gonna keep pushing you. Why am I in business? Why did I get in business originally? 
a lot of people tell me, you know, new business owners will say, and, you know, I got into business so that I could have more free time. <laughs> Good. That's like saying I like to have a child so I can have more free time. Why did you get into business originally? Why are you in this business today? You've got to have the reasons that are going to make you succeed and follow through. And also, where's the gap between where you are and where you want to be? Why do you want to be here? Where's the gap? How are you going to close that gap? Third question our coaches will walk you through is the question, and by the way, you might want to do this even before we start if you want, and that is, who am I really in this business? There's three kinds of people. There's the person who is the incredibly talented, gifted artist. Somebody who has a special skill. That's what starts most businesses. They were this incredible genius in software, and they thought, why should I work for this company? I'm going to start this thing myself. But what they love to do most is create software. They don't manage people very well, and they don't manage the risks very well that an entrepreneur takes. They just keep wanting to do that, making that product. And if that's your skill, you want to make sure you spend more time doing that and you get some good managers and you get a great entrepreneur as a partner. Are you the kind of person who really loves to manage people and processes? If that skill, every business needs you. But you got to own that skill and make sure you spend most of your time effectively managing, not trying to do things that Really, you're not the artist. You're not the skilled one in that area. It's not your total talent. Your talent is the people and process management. Are you the entrepreneur? Are you the person who wants to take big risks and you're willing to put yourself on the line, your money, your time, your energy? You're constantly figuring out how to expand this and shape it. Every business needs people that are great artists, great talents, great skilled individuals. We need people that are great managers and we need great entrepreneurs. It might be important for you as you work with your coach, as you create kind of your business map to go, what business are we in today? What business do we need to be in? Why did we get in this business originally? Why are we in it now? Where's the gap? Who are we? Who are the best artists, talents, people with gifts? I mean, Kobe Bryant has an unbelievable gift. He makes, what, $27 million a year? The manager that everybody wants to be makes about $7 million a year. You know, the entrepreneur lost money with the Lakers last year. So some people think being the entrepreneur is always the answer. Figure out who you are and how to spend more time with that. That's what our coaches can help you with as well. Fourthly, figure out where you are. Where you are means where are you in your own life cycle? We all have seasons, a springtime of our life, our youth. We just got so much energy, you can just burn it. You don't have to think about it. A summertime where we start to figure out how to apply ourselves, maybe in our 30s to our 40s, maybe a fall an autumn where we're in our 40s or 50s, maybe early 60s, and we're in our power. You've worked hard in the springtime, and you worked hard through the summer, and you've mastered so much, so you really now in that place where you're starting to reap rewards from all those years of commitment. Or maybe you're in winter. Maybe you're post-60s or 70s or 80s, and you're now the elder of the tribe. You're a person who has value that you want to give. You want to mentor people. The reason I say that is you're going to look at your business or your management, or the way you run in this business differently in your 20s, than your 30s, than your 40s, than your 50s, than your 60s or 70s. Does it make sense? Right now, I'm just kind of planting some seeds before you start this process of your plan to remember that it's great to have your plan, but how you're going to apply it is based on what business you're really in and what business you should be in. It's based on why you're in it. That's going to get you to follow through and drive and knowing where the gaps are you want to close. It's based on who you are. Are you that person that creates the product? Are you that person that manages the processes? Are you that entrepreneur? And it's for where you are. You know, where are you right now as a business? Are you brand new? You know, a little toddler just getting going? Are you a teenager? The company's growing like crazy really fast. Are you a young adult where you're starting to say, okay, we got to do fewer things but do them better when you put systems in place? Are you in a position where now you're in prime? The business has systems, and we're growing our sales and our profits. Are you a company that's aging? Again, these are things that our coaches can go over with you that I want to plant the seed with you on because if a company is just starting to grow, you got to manage it differently than if the company is mature or aging, if that makes sense. If the company's brand new, you got to do things very differently. Where are you? Where are you in your own life cycle? Where are you in the business life cycle? This is what we teach in our business mastery programs as well. We take four or five hours on this. In fact, most people say that understanding their business map, understanding where they are in the business life cycle, knowing they have to do different things each time, we ask people to put a value on it. We've never had anybody say that that day was less than a million dollars. So if you can come to Business Mastery, we'd love to have you, or get with your coach and let them start to explain to you how to decide when to do what. 
based on where you are. Where's your industry? You know, one of the companies that I have was in the television business, in the infomercial business. We started out that business to give you a sense when it was fairly new. I was one of the first companies in that area. And we grew with my partners at Guthrie Ranker Corporation. And we expanded. And that industry grew. And we were the top of it. And we did incredibly well. And I still have some infomercials. I still have them. They're quite successful. But the industry is aging. I could be in my prime. My product could be in its prime. But now, very few people watch an infomercial. When we started out, there were 35 or 50 channels. Now there's 500 channels and nobody watches them. Right? We all get it off Apple TV or you get it off your DVD or DVR, I should say. You know, and, and we just most people aren't watching television. They flip through the commercials. They skip through that area. It, it's hard to be ubiquitous when there's 500 choices and very few people are even looking at all 500 choices. So now, even if we maximize our business, we have to know the season. What stage? Where is the industry? Which means you want to get out of that and get into how you utilize the internet as an example, which is part of this program, by the way. So think about where you are in your life, where you are in your company, where you are in the life cycle of your industry, and maybe take a look at where we are in the life cycle of even the economy. You know, there's winters when things are a little tougher. You have to do things differently than springtime when everybody just has total optimism and they go. Again, I'm telling you this because your coach can walk you through it and when you're thinking about your business and you want a business map, these are some of the questions. And the final, the fifth question is, what's next? Once you know what business you're really in, once you know, you know what business you need to be in, once you know why you're in business number two and why you were in it originally, why you're in it now, what's going to drive you and where the gaps are, once you know who you are and you make sure you get the right talented people and the right managers and the right entrepreneurs working together with the same goals. I want you to know where you are so you can maximize wherever you are in your life, in your company, in your industry, in the economy. Then you start to know where to go next. Now that seems like a lot to put in front of you, but I just want to plant the seed. So if you wanted to before you began, you could answer these five questions and there's a little worksheet in front of you. But if you want to forget all that, if you say, Tony, I don't want a map. I just want a real clean three-step process that we create that's based on real numbers that's going to grow our business by a third in the next 6, 12, 18 months or 250%. That's what you're going to get in this next DVD. All right? I won't be jumping in anymore. You're just going to be going through the program from out here. But I just wanted to plant that seed with you that business plans for five years, forget it. Get a map. A map will show you when things change, here's still how to get there. And if you want a map to really work, take advantage of your coach because they know the map really well and they can help answer some questions and guide you along the way and we want to maximize results for you and for your organization so thanks for listening let's get started with what are the only three ways to grow your business how do you get geometric growth let the journey begin